In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about what you can do with your course once you've reached the final page. Um, essentially, what I've done in most of my courses, or in many of my courses, I should say, not all of them, is that I can set up the course to take you somewhere. And this is a great solution if you want to have a post-quiz assessment, something like a, uh, a level one evaluation. A level one evaluation is, uh, you know, the smile sheets that you give out at the end of your training sessions. Uh, you can do the same thing for online courses as well. So it, at the end of this course, I might want to get the learner's feedback, you know, what they think of the narration, what they think of the course, what did they think of the interactivity. You can ask all sorts of questions that it will allow you to uh, continually improve your courses. So that's something you can do. Another thing you can do is you can create a poor man's LMS. And what I mean by that is that you know, one of the challenges that we face as instructional designers is how do we deliver our material unless we have a million dollar LMS? Well, if you work for a big corporation, no problem. They probably have one. Um, but if you work for, let's say, yourself, like many of us do, uh, quite often people will say, well, can I see a sample of your work? Or, um, you know, we just have a small group of people and we need to be able to track training results without spending, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars or even millions of dollars buying uh, an LMS. So this is what I'm going to show you. There's a couple ways you can deal with this. So I have this course here. Here's my final page in the course. We'll just kind of zoom in a bit so you can see what's going on here. I have uh, one of my customized quiz results pages here. Um, I'll put a link right here for you to take a look at how you create one of those, but essentially there are two messages depending on how well you do in the course. So here I have a, a green box that comes up with a message that congratulates the user, and then of course I have the um, the red box here to say sorry you weren't successful please retake the course again I display their score their maximum score their percentage and then there's two buttons here at the bottom uh, one's the retake course button and one is the rate this course button um, and you can do a few different things the rate this course button is really just the continue button that is the default in Adobe Captivate 8 but I've relabeled it to rate this course and I'll show you what's happening on the back end here if I go into edit and I go to preferences or alternatively shift F8 I'm going to bring up the preferences uh, window give my slow computer time to do that so I do one of two I do two two things two steps here here on my quiz settings for pass or fail passes 70 percent for this particular course if they pass let them continue very straightforward and that will display the continue button uh, for for all to use if they fail you know I'm gonna give them 999 attempts it could be in infinity but I want to make sure that uh, that there's an action associated with that. So if you uncheck infinite attempts, put it for 999 or some other number that's reasonably high enough that they probably won't take that course that many times. And then it allows you to set the action. So you can set the action to jump to a particular page or open a URL or do any number of things. This is what I want for this case. I want them to be able to retake the course essentially as many times as it takes until they get a passing grade at which time I'll allow them to continue now this is the last page of the course so really I mean when, what I'm gonna want them to do from the continue button again remember I've changed that to say rate this course I wanted to open up um, something I can track and in this case here I've come up with a survey so let's go into edit and preferences or shift F8 for those that prefer shortcuts and we'll go to the project uh, project start end section 
and you know all my usual stuff that I do here but for the project end options I have an action it's open URL or file and then I have here uh, it's hard to see because they don't give you very much real estate to see the whole URL but let me copy that and I'll just open up um, a new window here and we'll paste and go and this brings me to a survey monkey where I ask a bunch of uh, typical questions like my objectives for taking this online course were met and they can either strongly agree or disagree I would recommend this online course to others strongly agree or strongly disagree depending on how they do and then there's a second page with uh, similar questions I broke it up just to you know make it easier to manage there so that's it but here's the kicker you can have this URL bring you anywhere um, incidentally while I'm here I'll just mention that you can choose whether this website this web address that you're putting in here will either go um, go to that web address in the current window that you're running so in other words if you're on the final page of your e-learning course do you want this website to simply load in the same window or would you like a new window I chose new window in this case just because of the way uh, this particular customers LMS works but you could choose parent or top level um, browser so I don't even know what parent or top level is but I usually use new or current so either I want a new window or a current window so that's fine my guess is parent is probably the browser in which you the first browser tab that you opened up um, when you when you started to deal with this uh, this online course but that said this uh, like I said this survey monkey could be other things as well and let me show you a couple of examples of that so let me just cancel that we're gonna switch over to this browser so I might have something as simple as this so this is an example of when when the uh, when the user passes this course it just brings them to a basic HTML window where I say congratulations you've successfully completed this course type in your name here so your name here oops can't spell and then I can hit control P or control S to save the current page um, control P works better because then I get the um, the name field filled out and it shows that Paul Wilson completed this training on this particular day and that's great so that I can print this just by hitting control P and it brings me up my dialog box and then I essentially get a certificate of completion which I can then show my manager and then he can say well that's great you completed your training fantastic job um, in other words a training a completion record kind of what an LMS does um, but a little bit more manual and certainly less expensive than buying a million dollar LMS so I'm just going to cancel out of that another opportunity for you is I've discovered and I've got a link boom right here I'll put it on the screen for you on how to use Google Forms to create something essentially the same as um, you know as the um, uh, survey monkey but the, the advantage of Google Forms is that if you have a Gmail address it's automatically included with your um, your your Google Drive and of course you can um, access the feedback in essentially a nice little Excel spreadsheet well in this case it's Google um, whatever their uh, spreadsheet tool is called I can't recall right at this moment but here I can look at you know there's a timestamp and I get you know strongly agree strongly agree all the feedback that I've received plus any additional comments like Paul Wilson thinks this oh that's not good well normally of course I get really good feedback so we'll just ignore that sorry that that name is Google Sheets that allows you to open that up there so this is a great way you can also there's nothing to say that you couldn't do the same thing and actually have a quiz here now of course you won't be able to give instant feedback to the user but you know if you don't mind manually marking tests like teachers from the old days used to do this 
you can actually check you know maybe have a field for a person's name and the answers that they've provided to all of these questions plus even do essay questions that sort of thing and then of course you can report back to either the organization that you're working for on what kind of results that your students got or report to the students themselves so hopefully you like it this uh, hopefully you like this tip guys if um, if you think this is a, a great idea and something you think you could use by all means give me a thumbs up and if you like these types of videos that you've seen here today and want to see more don't forget to subscribe to my channel